Now to a man who's been called a superstar in the world of agriculture. Oklahoma State recently honored Dr. Gabisa Ajeta for his significant contributions to our field. Dr. Ajeta traveled to Stillwater to receive an honorary Doctor of Science degree at OSU's spring commencement. A professor and researcher at Purdue University, he's credited with developing a drought-tolerant sorghum variety for his home country of Ethiopia, work that led to the World Food Prize in 2009. Despite these accolades, Dr. Ajeta says he's still motivated by two basic things. I come from an absolutely modest background, very poor background, and growing up poor, growing up hungry, uh, had inspired me to utilize the knowledge that I have and the opportunities I get to truly try to make a difference for the lives of the poor. And so that has been an, an you know, a, intrinsic inherent value that I carried with me. And the other is the kind of education I received. It's all started at two institutions that Oklahoma State University built in Ethiopia. And along with it is this principle, this concept of the land-grant university model uh, and bringing in, educating the young men and women from rural communities uh, and giving them the education they need to become research scientists, developing agents, uh, to serve the community from where they come. For more now on Gabisa Ajeta's contributions to the world of agriculture, we're joined by Clarence Watson, who oversees the experiment uh, operations in Oklahoma. And Dr. Watson, you had the um, opportunity to work with Dr. Ajeta at, at some point in your career. Right. I've known Gabisa for about 25 years. We had some international sorghum work connections, as well as a number of African students that we worked with over the years. And uh, just a great scholar, gentleman, humanitarian, someone I'm proud to call a friend. His work with sorghum in Africa has really gone a long way toward helping with the food crisis that exists in that continent. Uh, he did early work with the establishment of hybrid sorghums in the Sudan that were resistant to drought, and then later some of his work with resistance to striga, or known as witchweed, is a major, major pest in East Africa. Um, just really groundbreaking work there. It's hard to even imagine how complex and, and comprehensive all of this work is. Can you put that into perspective as well? Well, and I think Gabisa would be the first to tell you that he didn't do this single-handedly. It was part of a team effort, but he was definitely the leader of that team. He pulled together physiologists, chemists, entomologists, pathologists, as well as a number of colleagues in Africa with the Ministries of Agriculture to produce the final product. And finally, he's a guy who really has had a humble beginning, the humblest of all. Right. Uh, his story should be a, an inspiration to all of us. He started in a poor village in Ethiopia. Uh, had he not had the uh, ability to go to school that was provided by OSU through the establishment of a high school at Gemma and later Alamaya University in Ethiopia, he would not have been able to have attended school. And so over the years, he's always told me about the great affinity that he's had for OSU, and, and I'm very proud that OSU was able to honor him this weekend. Okay, excellent perspective. Thank you very much, Clarence Watson.